Hello, this, my name is Sean O'Neill, and this is the presentation of my MEMS 5001 final project. So when we started learning about the traveling salesman problem in class, it made me think of a problem that I run into a lot at home. Um, every night after my daughter is tucked away in bed, uh, my wife and I are stuck picking up a lot of and putting away a lot of her toys. Um, while re researching this problem, I ran into something called the general pickup and delivery problem. Um, and it seemed to match up fairly well with my cleanup problem. Uh, similar to the traveling salesman problem, in the general PDP, you're trying to minimize the distance traveled between a population of nodes. However, there are complications in that you have to account for carrying capacity as a limiting factor um, that will keep you from visiting all of the pickup locations in sequence. Here is a list of parameters that I was working with. There's the number of toys, um, the number of toy bins that you have, the uh, number of agents, in this my problem I assumed it to be one, um, the maximum carrying capacity of an agent, um, the weight of each toy, which I also assumed to be one for each toy, um, and then there was something called the category of the toy, and what I mean by this is you can't just put any old toy in any old bin. You'll never be able to find it again if you do. Every toy has its place where it belongs. A book belongs on a bookshelf, and dress-up clothes belong in a trunk, and likewise. So, given these parameters, here is my objective that I'm trying to minimize. Uh, it's similar to the standard traveling salesman, but there are two components here instead of one. There's a pickup component and a delivery component to my objective. Uh, in addition to the standard TSP constraints, the biggest one that my code enforced was the carrying capacity constraint. You, should, you could only travel to a subset of the total population before having to stop and drop off the toys at their respective bins. So, it turns out that there are a lot of ways that you could solve this problem, so I immediately needed to start making some simplifications to bound it. Um, I chose to use one of MATLAB's linear integer optimizer functions. Uh, in order to get MATLAB what it needed, I needed to come up with a strategy for choosing which nodes would be visited and in what order. So, for this project, I chose a form of nearest neighbor clustering, in which I would find the closest toys to the starting point, find the optimum path between those toys, and then proceed along the optimum path to visit the appropriate toy bins before returning to the pickup. So here's an idea of what that looks like graphically. This first one is very similar to an open traveling salesman problem, where the carrying capacity is equal to the number of toys. This solution is where the carrying capacity is half the number of toys to result in two circuits. I have each of the pickup and delivery circuits broken out so as to not be confusing. Finally, here's a, an example of a solution where the carrying capacity is a fifth of the number of toys. So the solutions that I found largely came out the way that I expected, which I think is both a positive and a negative. Obviously it's positive since I'm getting a solution that looks reasonable. It's negative though because it makes me wonder if I over-constrained the problem during the formulation phase. Uh, for future work for my final report, I plan on looking at the relationship between the number of bins and the carrying capacity to see if there is one of them that more strongly impacts the solution. Finally, if time had allowed, I would have looked at multiple strategies for partitioning the set of toys, such as clustering by toy category, to minimize the number of trips between the bins. Um, thank you for your time.